The International Water Management Institute, UMI, strives to scale water solutions and services to increase food production. UMI aims to use water more productively and sustainably to improve smallholder livelihoods, social and gender inclusion. We are not the only organization that is into this, that is trying to improve uh, smallholder uh, agriculture and providing them with a uh, good uh, irrigation uh, packages. The problem is that other organizations uh, that work on, on these projects do not work together. You have uh, one organization repeating the activity of another and that doesn't bring, uh, come with results. So at the end of the day, donors are not happy with the way funds are used. The farmers are not happy because they do not get the requisite results. And uh, other companies that invest into these smallholder farmers do not get the results they want. And this is all as a result of the fact that we don't work together. We believe that if we work together, connect and bundle innovations with existing services and products, resources and businesses, we can finally make the change we've all been working towards. Let us show you an example. This is Sharatu. She farms on this field designate only for women, where they were once supported with an irrigation system from a donor. <laughs> This is Safi Anan. His farmland is next to the women. He recently acquired a solar pump from PumpTech, a water pump company based in the region. He is happy with his arrangement with PumpTech, whereby he received his pump on a pay-as-you-own basis. His pump is actually pumping more water than what he needs to operate his farm. And uh, we realized that he could produce more water than he needed in his field. And there were women that were just close by his field that were cultivating, using basins and buckets to, to draw water. We, when we came, the women had facilities, a lot of uh, equipment. We saw drip lines. We saw these tanks that were just lying about, and yet they were carrying this water with their heads. And they, they didn't have the idea of how to work around with those, those equipment that were just left for them. So we talked to him to see whether he could sell some of the water to, to, to the women. And uh, he sells a poly tank as low as three Ghana cities. So the four women saw that that was worth it. When I came and started doing the business with them, I was very happy with, with that business because sometimes it supports me to get fuel from my place to here. When I was here, I was able to get my money. When I was here, I was able to get my money. Yumi asserted the problem. Uh, we connected various parties uh, through a, a bundle of existing uh, services and technologies uh, to solve the problem in this particular situation. So bundling is a pathway to scale irrigation technology and services for our farmers. In this case, Iumi has bundled different products from PumpTech, suggested a new payment plan for products, introduced a new business model of water supply, and connected this to their respective farmer segment in Northern Ghana. When we continue to use more flooding and people are increasing, it will come to a time that we can't get water to irrigate again. Given how easy it is to replicate, a training workshop on this topic can be added to the bundle and be implemented elsewhere. Ilmi will keep researching, connecting, linking and then bundling in order to scale water solutions and services. This is how to do bundling step by step. You analyze the situation and the context of that specific location. You then identify existing services, products, resources, and businesses. You connect and bundle the relevant packages to implement change. Finally, you research local networks for potential partners in this landscape to scale the use of this bundle. <laughs>